Good evening, and welcome to our 2020 Book Award Ceremony. The Book Awards are an opportunity for our teachers to recognize passion and excellence in each of our subject areas. Eighth grade students who receive an award have been selected because of their joy for the subject, their interest in going beyond the classroom assignments, and their achievements. We'll begin tonight with the Newburyport Firefighters Good Citizenship Award. Presenting this award is Newburyport Fire Chief LeClaire. For the eight Crimson nominations for the Fireman's Outstanding Citizenship Award for the 2019 school year, we have selected a student who exemplifies compassion, curiosity, tenacity, and persistence. In the classroom, this student is an eager and active participant, and she always makes an effort to connect what she is learning to other subjects and the world around her. Her curiosity and commitment to excellence distinguish her both academically and intellectually. It is obvious to all of us that she is passionate about learning. She is always seeking to challenge herself and to grow. She shares her enthusiasm for learning with those around her, and she's always patient and kind toward others teaching and learning alongside her. She is also actively involved in community service efforts, both in the NOC and in the New Report community. As a member of the Clipper crew, she works diligently to make our school a more welcoming, inclusive, and supportive environment for all students. She is an excellent ambassador for our school, representing her classmates, and teachers with dignity and pride. Despite the challenges posed by the coronavirus pandemic, she has continued to step up and is helping to coordinate the eighth grade class mural project. She clearly cares about leaving a positive legacy for those who come after her. Finally, she has distinguished herself as a dancer, traveling around the country to perform and dedicating her time out of school to a rigorous schedule of rehearsal and performance. She does this with her characteristic courage and intensity. She describes herself as flexible, spontaneous, and open to new things. All attributes that help her as a student, an athlete, and a leader of our community. It has been the eight Crimson team's privilege to work with a student who has consistently made such positive contributions to our community inside and outside the classroom. We are so very proud to be able to honor Lily Brunick as our eight Crimson Fireman's Award winner. We proudly nominate this eight gold student because of their continual contributions to the Knock Middle School and the Newburyport community at large. They skillfully balance their academic and extracurricular activities. For example, they took part in the Clipper Crew program, where they worked with several initiatives, including the Boo Bash and the start of our fourth grade buddies program, which was a means to increase social interactions between fourth and eighth graders. They wanted very much to participate in the annual 20 mile project Red Walk for Hunger, and when it was canceled, joined our socially distanced knock walks program and walked 20 miles and raised funds for our neighbor's table. Whenever there is a volunteer opportunity, they never hesitate to step up and offer their support or service. They also did a full independent research assignment on bioprinting and medical research because of their increased interest during the pandemic. While in quarantine, they were busy making masks for family, friends, and neighbors. The pandemic has had a profound impact on all of us, but has led this student to seek a career in medicine. Not only is our nominee service oriented, their stellar academics led to their selection by their eighth grade teachers to be a tutor in the eight gold peer tutoring program. They were able to lend a hand to anyone who had questions or challenges. Our eight gold nominee is a caring student who never strives to be the center of attention. They are humble about their own achievements. Other students find them approachable, hardworking, and enjoy partnering with them. It has been the eight goals team privilege to have a student who has made such a difference on our team and in the community. We are so very proud to be able to honor Sasha Layden as this year's eight gold Fireman's Award winner. This young man is always courteous and leads in so many different ways, in and out of the classroom. The best part about the way he approaches things is that nothing is forced. He naturally includes people and does not need to be asked to do something nice for others. This year, he has participated in a mentor program, going down to the Molin School and helping a younger student. Often when I ask him about this, he tells me it's the best part of his day. Unlike most middle schoolers, he never needs to be reminded to go, never needs anyone to coax him, and he's always okay giving up his personal time to help another student. During remote classes, he always cheerfully participates and sets a great example for his peers in terms of online etiquette and taking responsibility for one's own learning. He is an enthusiastic learner who exhibits curiosity through thoughtful and productive questions during classroom discussions. He loves to learn new things and loves to connect 
what we are doing in the classroom to his own life and the world around him. He never settles for okay and challenges himself to do his best work every time out. He is a great role model for his peers, illustrating how someone can be passionate about learning and academic success while still being funny and kind. In school and in our remote learning, he is one of the first to arrive and does so many different things to help his peers without being asked. He will willful, willingly put up all the chairs in the classroom without anyone asking him to, or jump to help a classmate who has dropped their belongings. He engages with teachers and peers, making them feel comfortable and supported. He will always ask how your day is, and then with maturity beyond his years, he will sincerely listen and ask thoughtful questions. He is mature beyond his years, and you can see how others will follow his lead, are stronger and better when they are around him, and how he brings positivity to those that need it. He has never once been unwilling to join a group, no matter how difficult people it may be to work with, instead bringing the best out of them in the process. He finds so many different ways to make people's lives better and to lead them along the way. He does this on the basketball court, helping younger players and bolstering his teammates. He does it on his mountain bike, showing younger kids the right way to ride and stopping to say hi to the little kids who admire the big kids. He does it in the classroom, showcasing how hard work and empathy can help a classroom, and he does this in his day-to-day -day life. It's fitting that he always has a smile on his face because of exactly what he brings out in everyone he meets. The recipient of the Seven Crimson Fireman's Award is Sebastian Peterson. The Seven Golds team in nomination for the Fireman's Outstanding Citizenship Award for the 2019-2020 school year goes to a young woman who embodies the tenets of the knock advantage. This hardworking and devoted student has set an example to her peers from the start of the school year. She possesses an inquisitive mind and a driving work ethic that set her up for academic success. She has demonstrated outstanding achievement in not classrooms and in our virtual classrooms. Although successful because of her planning, organization, and hard work, she is also one who understands that we often learn from those times when we might, may not initially find success. While these instances may not be numerous for this student, she too, like all of us, faces challenges and obstacles. But what sets her apart from others is how she responds with a willingness and the humility to ask others for help and how she accepts constructive feedback with appreciation. This student has the maturity to recognize that seeking guidance and collaborating with others often makes us better as individuals and enables us to continue to grow. While her academic accomplishments are noteworthy, this student truly sets the bar when it comes to personal responsibility. This student consistently brings a caring and warm presence to her classroom, hallways, cafeteria, and explore rooms, and does not allow the actions of others to influence her behavior. Regardless of the situation, this student is always true to herself. She treats those around her with respect, kindness, and empathy. She was always ready to lend a hand to her teachers and classmates. Our community of seventh graders is fortunate to have an individual who holds herself to such a high standard of academic and personal excellence. As it is with great pleasure, we recognize Sophie LaFranchise for the Seven Gold 2019-2020 Fireman's Outstanding Citizenship Award. Grade six Crimson nomination for the Fireman's Outstanding Citizenship for the 2019-2020 school year goes to a young woman who has emerged as a beacon of light during these trying times. She is a rock star, radiant from the moment she steps or signs into a room. She has discovered a way to lead by example, even when she and her peers aren't sharing the same space. We're delighted to witness the great lengths she strives to achieve academic excellence. Her dedication, thoughtfulness, and empathy set her apart. We are thrilled to present Aaron Casco for the Grade 6 2019-2020 Fireman's Outstanding Citizenship Award. The Six Gold Team nomination for the Fireman's Outstanding Citizenship Award for the 2019-2020 school year goes to a young man who exemplifies the qualities of a true citizen in the community. The student is involved in many out-of-school activities, is committed to academics, and is always in pursuit to help others. These qualities make our nominee the perfect candidate for this recognition. This young man enjoys playing soccer and mountain biking. He has run in the Derek Hines 5K and Yankee homecoming races for the past few years. Furthermore, he is a compassionate student who always thinks of the needs of others. This student possesses strong leadership abilities that are evident in class activities. His critical thinking skills will help him become a strong leader in the community as he grows. As a student, this young man works hard and always puts forth his best effort. He is an eloquent and thoughtful writer, and this thoughtfulness is evident in all aspects of his academic life. 
He often goes above and beyond the expectations set before him. He has a strong work ethic and is always willing to go the extra mile. This young man always has a fantastic sense of humor. He can take something as simple as presenting a math problem and put his own twist on it as if he is on stage entertaining an audience. It is our pleasure to nominate Joseph Tarassi for the 6th grade 2018-2019 Fireman's Outstanding Citizenship Award. Congratulations to the 2020 Citizenship Award winners, and thank you, Chief LeClaire. Our team teachers will now present the book awards for math, English, language arts, science, and social studies. They will be followed by our Explore teachers, who will present awards for physical education, art, orchestra, band, theater arts, wellness, world language, and engineering. Santos, eight gold English language arts teacher. Eighth grade is a time for students to become more independent and self-sufficient, to take what they learn in class and make it their own, and to strive to become better students and better people. This couldn't be more true of these two eight gold students. These two bright, talented individuals have shown this year in language arts. They've consistently worked hard, taken the feedback they've received and applied it, thought deeply about what they read, reflected on and revised their own work, and been a pleasure to have in class. I'm confident that they'll go far. This year's eight gold English language arts book award winners are Oliver Levins and Ava Maglio. Congratulations, Ollie and Ava. Congratulations to all you rising ninth graders. You made me feel so welcome in my first year at the NOC. Thank you. It's my pleasure to present the eight Crimson ELA Book Awards. As you all know, I am a passionate believer in building strong and caring communities, and every single student played their own unique role in making that happen this year. Whether you jumped at every chance to share your opinion, listened quietly to what others had to share, poured your heart out in your alpha biography, demolished one book blog after another with incisive analysis of carefully chosen evidence, or just made sure that we got a good laugh every now and again. You were a part of building that community. Now these two students, they are community builders. They're attentive to the experiences and needs of others. They lift up their classmates by holding space for different perspectives. They're always seeking to be better, not just with a score in the grade book, but with the positive impact they had on the people around them. Now, I thank them both for helping build the kind of community that could come to the end of this challenging year with resilience and hope. Thank you and congratulations to Bridget Mellett and Jack Stetson. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mr. Sorter, eighth grade math on Crimson. Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Velasquez. I am eighth grade math and gold. And we're here tonight to introduce the book awards. Um, our awards go to the students who've shown ac academic excellence throughout the year. Um, but besides just being amazing math students, these students also show a commitment to math, uh, perseverance through any kind of problem I give them, and maybe above all, a willingness to help others in the class, which is a great attribute. So for Algebra 1, the students are Matthew Hurley and Olivia McDonald. For grade eight math, the students are Jackson DeVivo and Anna Lynch. And for eight gold, we're looking at people who have the same qualities, who have a passion for math, and they're people who show consistency throughout the year. Um, these students did a wonderful job for the entire year and showed a great understanding of mathematical concepts. Um, for algebra, there's Riley McCloy, and Will Roloffs. For eighth grade math, Jeremy Barry and Georgia Cobb. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, have a great next year. Hi, I'm Mary Kate Allen and I teach science for the eight Crimson team. And I'm Sarah Robertson and I teach science for the eight gold team. We'd like to start by congratulating the entire eighth grade class of 2020. It was such a pleasure to get to know you all and work with you each day this year. We really miss being in school with you, but we have appreciated the efforts that you've put forth during our remote learning. And we wish you all the best in your high school endeavors. 
This year, I am proud to recognize the eight Crimson Science Book Award winners. They both definitely have a future in the field of science. They have been hardworking, dedicated, and dependable throughout the entire year. But it's their quiet determination and passion for science that sets them apart. I actually heard from past teachers for each of them when they heard who I was awarding. And both teachers mentioned how each student was amazing and definitely a scientist. And so I truly appreciate all that they have offered my class, and I can't wait to see the difference that they make in the future. Congratulations to Bristol Banovic and Connor Spinney. And for eight gold, science is all about exploring the world around us, asking questions, being driven by data and evidence, reading critically, and then writing as a means to communicate our understanding with others. Scientists are led by an unwavering curiosity about the natural and physical world. And it is from this curiosity where humanity continues to advance forward, hinging on the efforts of bright minds and dedicated students, like the two eight gold students who have earned the 2020 Science Award this year. Congratulations to our two scientists, Katherine Conway and William Plum. Congratulations and stay curious, scientists. Great job, everybody. Congratulations. Civics for our eighth graders is really learning about how individuals have made a difference in our nation and how you as individuals or groups can make a difference today and in the future. As such, it's our goal as your teachers to help you find your voice around issues you care about. The two winners of the eight gold book awards are students who use their voices in very different ways. Both are incredibly hardworking students who honor their commitment to the community and ideals of justice. One of them is very vocal in class, always asking questions to explore new ideas and his own learning. He's particularly good at engaging with his peers in small group discussions. I know he thinks a great deal about how he can make our world better as he selected a topic related to environmental issues at a local level. I'm sure he's going to continue to explore this in the future. The other student is also a hard worker and has de demonstrated excellence in her everyday approach to classwork and projects. Every assignment is literally a work of art. The way she expresses her knowledge is through her work and design. Her album cover and project was a strong example of her ability to create work that reflects her knowledge in a very artistic way. She also thinks about the greater good. Her I am we topic that she researched was about the foster care system. She's always thinking about how to better help and serve the community around her and was a critical member of our Clipper Crew team this year. These students have learned the power to make changes and impact our community. I know they both view action as a part of their responsibility as citizens. Both these students gladly embrace this duty, and I know both will be important contributors in the future. The book award winners for Eight Gold are Simone Chabot and Owen Dunner. What do you want? 
Cause you've been keeping me awake Are you here to distract me so I make a big mistake? Or are you someone out there who's a little bit like me? Who knows deep down I'm not where I'm meant to be? Every day is a little harder as I feel my power grow don't you know this part of me that longs to go into the unknown, into the unknown, into the unknown. Oh, are you out there? Do you know me? Can you feel me? Can you show me? Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. How do I follow you into the unknown? It is now my honor to present the Social Studies Book Award recipients for Eight Crimson. Uh, these two students consistently demonstrated an outstanding level of dedication to their work in civics class. Um, the female recipient of this award is extremely passionate about her IMWE topic and has already taken steps to get involved in the issue of women's rights in the Newburyport community. She is also very kind and conscientious in class and works diligently on her written work in class assignment. The male recipient of this award is a quiet but extremely kind and helpful young citizen. He is consistently appreciative of feedback from his teachers and consistently strives to do his best. He also feels a strong connection to his I Am We topic of livable streets and has excelled during the remote learning period this spring. I am honored to give the eight social studies, uh, eight Crimson Social Studies Book Awards to Michelle Sesnek and Matthew DeSimio Maloney. In these extraordinary times, art is an outlet to process our experiences and see the beauty in the world around us. These students throughout the school year and further through distance learning have demonstrated their creativity and resourcefulness when it comes to art. Their artwork demonstrates sophisticated artistic skills, dedication, and imagination. This year's art awards go to Ava Maglio, Sawyer Sperry, Emily Malini, and Caleb Bradshaw. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good evening, my name is Brian Nickerson and I am the director of the concert bands here at the Knock Middle School. This year's eighth grade concert band again consisted of incredibly dedicated, talented, and hardworking young musicians. In addition to weekly rehearsals, sectional lessons, and our winter concert, the department offered students numerous ex extra credit performance options, such as playing at the high school football games in the fall, the holiday invitation night performance, and auditioning for the district festival concert band. The students honored tonight not only gave their all during every rehearsal and every section lesson, they even participated in those above and beyond opportunities, and they continued to grow and develop their musicianship. They refused to call anything good enough when they knew they could do better. These students demonstrated outstanding leadership in the ensemble and consistently demonstrated the knock advantage values. Today, I am honored to acknowledge four members of our superb ensemble who admits 21 highly dedicated and incredibly hard working players consistently demonstrated outstanding improvement, achievement, and ambition in concert band. This year's recipients of the award for outstanding achievement in concert band are Michelle Kilroy, Yenna Gruber, Alex Lazowskis, and Matthew DeSimio Maloney. Congratulations to you all. I wish you all the best in your high school endeavors and come back and see us sometime. Good evening, my name is Brian Nickerson and I teach music technology at the Knock Middle School and it's my honor to present the award for outstanding achievement in music technology. One of the biggest challenges of this course is that one may quickly presume that if you do not play an instrument, can't read music, or wouldn't identify as a musician that you can't succeed. However, every year, countless students in this course prove such a presumption wrong. 
They compose, edit, and assemble brilliant projects, develop artistic skills they never thought possible, and discover the ability to appreciate music creation and performance on a more profound level. This year's 8th grade music technology class saw a shift in scheduling that put most of them in the class for the full year as opposed to the half year that we have done in previous years. This can be a really long time to continuously produce quality work, work give a consistent effort on every project, and maintain a creative ambition. This situation was compounded further with the school closing, the students faced even tougher odds as they were forced to work from home, often having to wait for a teacher's email response for help and work generally independently with no teacher there to guide them every step of the way. This year's award recipients showed the quality of projects that could be created outside of a school lab with seemingly little equipment, but a solid effort and incredible creativity. As these students were in the class the entire year, these honored students in particular showed outstanding quality in their effort, attention, and output, not just during the school closing, but throughout the first part of the year as well. While there are countless students this year just as deserving of the award, I sought the individuals that grew as artistic creators, explored unique routes in project completion, and consistently stood out as role models for the class. Please join me in acknowledging this year's recipients for the Award in Excellence in Music Technology, Luca Beninato, Jenna Gruber, and Jack Stetson. Congratulations and thank you. Good evening again. My name is Brian Nickerson, and this time I have the honor of presenting the Award for Outstanding Achievement in Musical Theater. While we were all prepared for another milestone production in the Knock Musical Theater Department, it unfortunately ended very differently than any of us could have planned. Neither Nearly a hundred students came together to mount what was sure to be an unforgettable and hilarious production of The Addams Family. Though we were unable to see the production through, every student gave their all for over three months, putting in countless hours learning songs, dances, dialogue, blocking, designing and building sets, and making it just shy of two weeks before opening night. While no production is possible without every team member giving their all to the cause, it is my privilege to acknowledge three outstanding students who consistently went above and beyond. These students took on virtually any task presented to them and were consistent role models of patience, kindness and support and positivity during even the most stressful moments every production goes through. These individuals put their needs and often their personal lives aside to ensure that we were headed towards not only a top-notch production, but a quality experience for their peers and ultimately the Newburyport Knock community. Though we were unable to perform the show for an audience, these students performed at the top of their game in every rehearsal, every meeting, and all the weekend and vacation days that they gave up. While they will be missed upon graduation, their contributions to the Knock Theater Department will never be forgotten and, there, and will be an inspiration that will carry us for years to come. This year's award for Outstanding Achievement in Musical Theater goes to Michael Grasso, Haley Mann, and Catherine Melnick. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Come back and see us. The Chorus Award is given to students who practiced and performed with diligence and enthusiasm. It is my pleasure to recognize these students for their excellence in musicianship. Emma Cowles, Dylan Davis, Caden Iserman, and Evelyn Kennedy. The Orchestra Award is given to students who practiced and performed with diligence and enthusiasm. It is my pleasure to recognize these students for their excellence in musicianship. Catherine Conway, Aiden Reynolds, Oliver Shakespeare, and Kayla Whitty. Hi, eighth graders. I really wish, and so does Mr. Beaumont, we both wish that you were sitting right here in front of us today. It is very difficult for us to say goodbye to you this way. Each and every one of you make this world a better place. That is why it has been a pleasure, a privilege, and fun to be your physical education teacher. We believe it is more important than ever 
not only to embrace, but to continue the practice of the knock and bandage core values. Respect, awareness, responsibility, and especially kindness. As you navigate through your high school years, please remember Audrey and the bread, bread glass movement. Live boldly, never give up. Love big, always be kind. Now, onto the Phys Ed Award. As always, this is never an easy decision. And you have also made it a very difficult decision this year because there are so many of you who qualify for this award. The Physical Education Award goes to the outstanding student. The outstanding student always comes to class prepared, is always kind to their classmates, and always puts forth their best effort. This year, my award goes to Anna Lynch. Congratulations, Anna. Thank you, eighth graders. Uh, this year, my award goes to Gus Webster. Thank you, Gus, for a great year. Eighth graders, I wish you guys luck. Thank you. And thank you, and good luck. Congratulations, eighth graders, on finishing what has been a challenging year for sure. I wish all of you the best of luck in high school and beyond and wherever next year might take you. Uh, this year, the Tech Engineering Award goes to four students that consistently showed creativity, innovation, and a positive attitude uh, for the past three years. And those four students are Faith Childs, Beckett Sava, Aiden Reynolds, and Madeline Heath. Congratulations, guys. I hope everyone has a safe and fun summer, and good luck next year. Hi, I'm Luann Wilczynski, and I'm here to give uh, the Spanish Book Awards for 2020 from my classroom. Next to me, you'll see a picture of the Sagrada Familia, one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. I went there last year on my first trip to a Spanish-speaking country, and it was life-altering. So I have that in mind as I um, give this award, just how rewarding it can be to know how to speak another language. Okay, sometimes it's not the obvious choice. Uh, sometimes a person is one of those quiet leaders. They might not have the top score in the class, but sometimes they do. Their hand might not be up all the time, but when you really need a volunteer, they come through. When others ask questions about how to find shortcuts or um, how to put in the, what I call the LPE, the least possible effort, these people just get to work. They put in a solid first effort, they ask questions, and then they use every suggestion offered to improve their work. Not to earn the A+, although lots of us love those, but because they're active participants in their learning focused on progress and growth and not on perfection. These people show the kind of character that leads to success in any endeavor and in the long haul. The two book award winners that I've chosen this year both fit this category, always ready to work and learn. These are the students who remind us of why we became teachers in the first place. When we offer learning opportunities, including time, patience, kindness, expertise, and coaching, they take those gifts and they run with them. Um, it's incredibly gratifying. For the two of you, I am proud of all that you've achieved and hope that you'll have the chance to visit lots of Spanish speaking countries and that you can enjoy your travels all the more because you'll be able to talk to everybody you meet and immerse yourself in their cultures. I hope you make friends here in the US too who speak Spanish um, and can enjoy the warmth and generosity of their cultures. Everyone is family or becomes family sooner or later if they hang around long enough. You'll see, I've been surrounded with love and affection that I would never have known and friendship had I not spoken Spanish. And sometimes I even get to see outside of my own little bubble into other cultures and ways of being. That includes music, food, and humor, of course, my three favorite things. Because the two of you are open to others around you, kind and unfailingly respectful, I think those things will happen for you sooner rather than later. In closing, I wanna, sh I wanna thank um, Riley McCloy and Jack Sherman for being those two quiet leaders who so clearly value hard work, learning for its own sake, kindness and respect. Thank you for both being solid rock steady students, not just at the beginning of the year when things were going along pretty more routinely, but also during remote learning when those challenges multiplied. Slow and steady, or for both of you, well paced, perfectly paced and steady definitely wins the race. I could not be more proud of the two of you. Know that I will miss having you in class next year and I've been very lucky to be your teacher. 
along with all of the other wonderful students I have. It was really hard to pick just two, but you two really stand out. Um, congratulations on winning this year's book award and thanks again. Bye. Hola, buenas tardes chicos, como están? The Spanish Book Award this year is designated to two motivated students who have a passion for learning a second language and become bilingual. I'm confident they will continue learning it at the high school level and spreading love and um, passion to the culture and the language to everyone around them. And um, I'm very proud of you too for your hard work. Um, congratulations to Sofia Franco and Matthew McDougall. Adios. What does it take to have a great language learning class? It takes students who are willing to participate, who are really interested in learning and who have to sometimes come up in front of the class and play a silly game or something and really put themselves out there. So this student really did all this and volunteered a lot and showed a lot of courage doing this. It is Will Flaum. Congratulations, Will. Congratulations to the eighth grade class. I hope you all continue to get involved in things that make you happy and give back to the community that lift everyone up. Each of the eighth grade 2020 Wellness Book Award winners consistently displayed similar points of view over the past five years. I feel grateful for having been a witness to these shared points of view, and I also feel these are types of points of view that embrace unity and acceptance for all. Here are the points of view that I believe each of my Wellness Book Award winners embody. An ability to always bring their best into class, an ability to be kind to everyone and still have an opinion that may be different from others, an ability to step up to a challenge that was presented to them. Each recipient never wavered in, this, in these embodied points of view. Lastly, each recipient provided terrific insight and reflection on topics and did this with kindness, integrity, and humility. These recipients are not going to tell you they're great and special and awesome at meeting challenges, but I am, and I will do it anytime I can. Thank you all, and I want you to know that I respect you all for how you've approached life. My hope is that these points of view will continue to serve you well. And the award winners are Kara Dowell, Tristan Joyce, Elizabeth Metzger, and Henry Aiello. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all of our book award winners. We are proud to celebrate your passion for learning and wish you more learning adventures in high school.